Guangzhou, the most important international metropolis in South China. Fuda Cancer Hospital, one of the biggest hospitals in this vibrant city, has earned its reputation for quality medical care and heartfelt service. Let's start with Ms. Peng Shi Mei, a girl from Mao Ming City. In November 2009, she was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. To free her poor family from the burden, she left home and wandered on the street for almost two years. Fortunately, this dying girl met Professor Xu Qi Sheng, who transferred her back to Fuda. Fuda organized donations and successfully performed a surgery to remove the tumor that weighs 55 kilograms. Having gained a new life, she decided to be a lifelong volunteer in Fuda. In 2010, Mrs. N. Dang, the 49-year-old Indonesian health minister, a medical graduate from Harvard University, was diagnosed with advanced lung cancer. She said, Time becomes extremely precious for me. My husband and I had fully considered every medical treatment and the locations. We finally chose Fuda. Mrs. N. Dang's condition was effectively controlled and she returned to work after treatment. When she met Mr. Chen Zhu on World Health Assembly, then the health minister of China, she expressed her sincere gratitude to doctors in Fuda. In early 2008, a Danish pancreatic cancer patient, leaving Danish doctors' doubts behind, came all the way to Fuda. Two months later after treatments, liver metastases disappeared and pancreatic tumor shrank by two-thirds. Her story spread to the whole Denmark, attracting 113 Danish cancer patients to Fuda in the same year. In June 2014, Mrs. Elizabeth, a British royal, was diagnosed with breast cancer. To keep her breasts, she denied British doctors surgical excision and traveled to Fuda. She underwent cryosurgery and recovered well. Before leaving Fuda, she set up the Elizabeth Cancer Fund to help poor cancer patients. On July 2, 2016, International Guangzhou Forum on Cancer Treatment was convened in Fuda. Mrs. Elizabeth shared her story with more than 300 attendees. In 2016, Lim Yang Ji, a 39-year-old Malaysian vocalist, suffered from lung cancer. Doctors in Malaysia told her that the disease was incurable. She came to Fuda in August. Miraculously, her condition improved after treatment. After four months, she returned to the stage again. In the past 10 years, Fuda Medical Team has treated numerous untreatable cases. For example, Ming Bing from Heilongjiang Province, Ming Zai from the west of Guangdong Province, Wei Feng from Meizhou City. More and more inflicted patients have gained new life here. Adhering to its treatment concept of living with cancer, Fuda has developed a unique 3C plus P treatment mode which gains the recognition from patients from 96 different regions and countries. At the exhibition area, there is a world map illuminated by many small red flags that marks the countries whose patients had been treated in Fuda. The lines corresponds closely to the Belt and Road, initiated by Mr. Xi Jinping, the chairman of PRC. There are many big hospitals in Guangzhou, why Fuda, a private hospital, has gained the trust of so many domestic and overseas patients? That answer lies in the tenet of this hospital, true technology and sincere service. Technology is hard power. Professor Xu Qi Cheng often says that keeping patients alive is of paramount importance. Fuda has several outstanding medical teams, cryosurgery team and nano knife team, headed by Dr. Nu Li Ji, who is praised as top lancet, general surgery team, headed by Professor Li Chao Long, chief surgeon of Asia's first multiple abdominal organ combined transplantation and founder of modern China medicine, surgery team and head of neck and tumor, headed by Professor Zhang Zhang Yuan, chief specialist and head of neck and surgery, lung cancer, thoracic surgical team, headed by Dr. Mu Feng, hepatobiliary surgery team, headed by Professor Wang Zhanan, who practiced in the UK, Microvascular Interventional Treatment Team, headed by Dr. Pao Shanghao. Combined Immunotherapy Team, headed by Dr. Cheng Ji Bing. 
Experts of FUDA are continuously exploring cancer treatment and FUDA initiatively brought back to China cryoablation and irreversible electroporation and other advanced cancer treatments. FUDA has had more than 10,000 cases of cryosurgical ablation and gained rich experience in applying cryoablation to pancreatic cancer, central lung cancer, and large liver cancer. FUDA published the first English-Chinese book on cryosurgery, Modern Cryosurgery for Cancer, and the first book on nanoknife treatment, New Technique of Cancer Treatment, Irreversible Electroporation. In August 2016, President Nu Li Ji and his medical team successfully performed a nanoknife treatment for pancreatic cancer patient who was an 89-year-old Filipino patient. This is the oldest cancer patient recorded to receive nanoknife treatment. FUDA made a new record. In the past decade, FUDA has received numerous awards such as Special Contribution Award by the International Society of Cryosurgery ISC, and Outstanding Contribution Award by World Conference on Interventional Oncology. Professor Xu Qi Cheng was elected president of the 17th ISC. Professor Nu Li Jie is incumbent vice president of the ISC and one of the founders of Asian Society of Cryosurgery. In December 2010, stood out from 8,600 private hospitals, FUDA was selected as National Key Clinical Specialty Oncology Center. In 2011, the Guangdong Provincial Key Clinical Oncology Specialty Center. In March 2014, FUDA, as the cancer hospital, was accredited by the Joint Commission International, JCI. FUDA's achievements are well recognized. Academician Wu Meng Chao and Wang Zhen Yi, laureate of State Preeminent Science and Technology Award, serve as honorary president and principal consultant respectively. Dozens of famous and domestic overseas experts are members of the Committee of Experts. Although FUDA is not a public hospital, it shows great care for public welfare. During Wing Chong earthquake, FUDA is the first private hospital in Guangdong to dispatch a medical team and donated money and equipment that are worth 9.5 million. After Ya'an earthquake, FUDA had raised more than 5 million yuan. FUDA have won the honorary titles such as China Public Confidence Model Hospital and China Private Integrity Model Hospital. Professor Xu Qi Cheng was honored as Lei Feng Type Excellent President, Top 10 Figure Who Inspired Guangdong, and Southern Guangdong Pioneer. Professor Chu was also conferred the National Bethune Medal in January 2013 and National Role Model of the Times in 2014. FUDA built its reputation by words of mouth. FUDA's patient-oriented medical care and heartfelt service have attracted the media from all over the world to cover hospitals' practice in China. FUDA has earned its place in medical world. This hospital is a 抓到最后一根救命的稻草，但是在这儿看见了希望，看见了救星。一旦门个地，把我搞到，一旦不罗巴的心里，doctor的心里，某本部的，sister的心里，什么人的心里，三个三个门都供给他什么。I like the 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 nurses very much. I like the doctors. Doctors are very professionals. They are kind. No, I'm very happy. And always be up to when I will survive, I will be grateful, thankful to all the persons who were connected with me in this hospital. We want to thank everybody at FUDA for taking care of us and for advancing the science of cancer treatment. We really appreciate your presence on this planet so much. I'm going home happy, confident in the knowledge I've had the best treatment. I mean this sincerely. I'm so thankful I came here. I'm really, really thankful I came here. Fu Da de, this impression will always live in our family's heart. We are grateful to Fu Da. As a doctor, we should always consider how to give our patients the best treatment. As a hospital director, we must always maintain the Cochise Yuan, Chengxin Yuan, Bo Ai Huan Yuan. 为了病人的健康。
这是我们最大的贡献。Striving to be the best Fuda that brings benefit to patients with proficient medical skill and treats patients with high sincerity and morality. Fuda is advancing rapidly towards the aim of building up a high-end, international, and academic hospital.